Hey there everybody, uh, Zilla here from DietZilla. Um, while I am not able to record alongside Diet, I am going to be doing these little solo plays of Game Boy Advance games. Um, they're my mini reviews, so to speak. Uh, my first one up is the game Invader. I had never heard of it before. Now, I am recording this after I played, so I already know what I, what I do. But anyway. Um, controls are pretty simple. A button shoot, L button, I believe is bomb, or R button, one of the two. Um, move left and right, up and down with the control pad. Starts, pause, select is activate your communicator. And you can figure out the rest yourself, if you ever play it. But anyway, um... I got a new, I got an upgrade here called the Dragon. You get various weapon upgrades in this game, such as uh, the Dragon, the Rabbit, Tiger. I don't know. I don't know where they fig fi uh, figured them out. But anyway, just firing away, firing away. This game isn't terrible, terrible. It's not great my honest opinion. But it's a lot better than I thought it'd be. But I have a bunch of little games for the Game Boy Advance already picked out. Um, my, uh, I did have a complete list that my uh, girlfriend helped me pick out, but I'm deciding not to go with those. Uh, simply because... I don't have enough space on the computer to hold all 54 games. Now, some of the games are taken from that list that I'm going to play, some of them are. Some of them are very popular games, and some are games that you've probably never heard of. But, oh well. This is one of the games that you've probably never heard of. And if you have, I'm shocked. Now here's the first boss. Pretty some straightforward. Shoot him, tell those weapons die. The battering ram and the two side gun. The two side gun you can't destroy the little thin red ones. The one shooting the little tinier balls. Ah. Uh, they the ones you can destroy. Ah, oh, I died. No, that's, how, that's dispatching a bomb. Yeah, this... Also, um, on a little bit of a side note, this is my first time making a video on this computer, so if it doesn't come out great, I apologize. If there's anything you see that I could possibly do better, let me know. Uh, that's what we have comments for. And anyway, that's the loading screen for the next level. Now this is level two. Uh. Oh, sorry. I didn't get much sleep last night. But anyway, this is this is perhaps my favorite weapon upgrade, the rabbit. I think it is amazing. The rabbit and the dragon are my two favorites. I'm not a big fan of any of the other ones. Unfortunately, I lose it here. I always have a tough time at this part. I'm not not great at avoiding things. See, I wish he had hits instead of just one hit kill. I'd be able to actually, you know, do a lot better in this game. <clears throat> this really isn't too much my style of game. I'm more of RPG action adventure type gaming. Not scrolling shooting. Although I do play some scrolling side games. That uh, side scrolling, not this up and down crap. Just got the speed up upgrade. Um, I forget what the whole purpose of time is in this game. I looked it up a while ago, but I was having issues recording, so I was never. I kind of forgot what it was while I was in transition. But, second boss fight, you gotta shoot those five guns on the top of him. 
I'm trying to use the rabbit ability to the best of my ability. Now, the, this this boss fight, I think, is pretty interesting. He'll come at you and try to beat you. He'll shoot you with the five guns on top, and he'll shoot you with his two side guns. And then he will... Come on. I know he does it a lot more than this. Come on. Okay, well, then he'll drop back behind the screen and shoot you with a little barrage of bullets. And basically what those bullets do is you have to fly in between the open spaces of them. Here, here it is. You have to fly between the open spaces of them to avoid being killed. It's not that hard. Oh, uh, sorry if the audio is a little laggy here. I just had a little bit of computer lag at this point. Sorry. And anyway, uh, oh, I flew straight into him. I dispatched a bomb to destroy him. He's dead. And that's all for my review of Invader. Okay, and um, this is my own personal production logo from uh, my own account. Um, I'm using it for now because Dietzilla does not have a production logo yet. We are working on one. But anyway, as for my review of Invader, um, I give the game as a total probably about a 7 out of 10. Uh, it's fun and all, but it does leave something to be desired in my opinion. But anyway, I'll see you next time with my next Zilla Mini review. Um, hopefully... It will be sometime next week, unless I get in somehow get in touch with Diet and we can start recording, uh, or actually we can finish the Backyard Wrestling 2 review that we have to post. So, I'll see you all next time.